five, four, three. <laughs> have, have, have you all changed up uh, bowl practice any differently than years past? No, we'll just have we'll, we'll have a few more, but no, this is uh, kind of did it the same as last year, uh, which was really good. And, and our kids were ready to play and did a lot of good on good early, and now we're in the Penn State uh, preparation. What do you think of Penn State? What do you see with them on the field? They're, they're a really good defense. They're you know a couple categories are you know top five and, and sacks and tackle for losses and they move around and, and they, they remind you of an SEC type defense. So they're really physical and they do a heck of a job. We'll, we'll, we'll have to play really well, and, and uh, you know we have to make sure that we're physical. And, uh, we're gonna have to finish in strength. Any young guys that have impressed you so far as they've gotten some more reps in this, or that you're eager to kind of see more? Of? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, Cavassier, Smoke, and and, and uh, Chris Rodriguez have really done a good job. You know, just watching them uh, move around, and, and that's been fun the last couple of weeks uh, seeing them uh, go good on good, and then getting a lot more reps. Uh, they, they stuck out a little bit to me. Any young receivers doing anything to catch your eye at all? No, you know, the ones that we've kind of had playing all year long are still in there trying to get better, and uh, we still got to continue to, to, to develop at that position. And, but uh, these reps in bowl practice has really helped us, and I think you'll see a, a big improvement when you get to the spring. When did you see Terry grow most in the last few weeks of the season to, to now? I think his decision-making process and getting the ball out, you know, knowing where to go with the ball, he got it up quick the last two games, and I think he was very efficient. And that's the biggest thing for us right now is that he knows where to go with the ball. And, uh, we, we've slimmed things down a little bit, you know, where we thought, uh, you know, what he does the best, and that's what you have to do. And uh, uh, I thought, I think he's uh, definitely improved the last two or three weeks of the season. Have you seen his confidence grow? I mean, is that something you can sort of visibly see? Yeah, I think both. You know, you look at his completion percentage over the last couple of games, and, and uh, you can see that his confidence has grown. Does Penn State remind you of anybody you saw this season? You know, they're, they're big and physical, they're fast, twitchy, you know, a little bit kind of Mississippi State slash South Carolina-ish, and, you know, they're an SEC-type defense. What did they do so well to get those tackles for losses in quarterback sacks? Uh, you know what, I think they play hard. I think they play really hard, and, and they strain. They uh, they do a good job schematically, and, uh, you know, they move on. Yes, it's like everybody else, but uh, they just, they, they tackle well in space. Uh, so, you know, we're, we've... We've got a lot to work on here in the next couple of weeks to, to be prepared and be ready, and uh, it's going to be a great challenge. Is there a guy that jumps out on, on their film that you really get? They all do. That front four is really good. Uh, you know, their front four, and uh, I think uh, you know, as a whole, uh, I think they just play well together. Uh, really, really good. Which growth have you seen from Lynn Bowden just this season compared to the last season? Well, I, I think it's been night and day. You know, uh, he's real smart. We're able to put him in different positions. You know, he's playing uh, X, Z, he's playing F, he plays Y. Uh, he's gone to the quarterback position, and uh, we're able to use different personnel groupings and get him on the field, and he knows where everybody is. That's really helpful when you got a guy like that. How can you use the, the bowl practices to, to grow the passing game for the, the next season? Keep throwing the ball. You know, a lot more passes maybe in team. Uh, you know, to make sure that uh, conceptually what he knows and what our guys know that, uh, you know, we're, our, that our percentage of, of completions are better. So we're throwing a little bit more in, in team. And when we went good on good, we were throwing it more and, and not running as much and uh, working some different concepts to see if, if those can work this week uh, or in a couple of weeks against Penn State. Epps and Ali kind of flashed a little at the end of the year. What where do they have to take the next step? Like, what do they have to do to? Uh, I think it comes down to consistency, you know. Epps had a chance to make a big play in the game uh, and, and, and come down and squeeze that one ball and, and could have had his first touchdown. And, uh, you know, just consistency. But I think you do. You're right. I think Ali has, has made a jump and he's getting better playing really fast. Uh, and so, and as Terry grows, those guys will get more balls. What competitive advantage, that, or what's the best competitive advantage that the offense has uh, over Penn State's defense? Well, I think it starts up front. You, you know, uh, they, I think they've got a, a really good front, and I think we've got a really good front. And it's always going to come down to big men lead the way. We'll go as our offensive line goes. Eddie, you can't talk about specific signees, but in general, with this 2019 class that's signing tomorrow, how much did you guys need some speed and playmaking ability at those, those offenses? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, I think, is speed and, and being able to make plays. And I think if, if everything goes right, I think we've, uh, we got that done. And 
you know, you never know on signing day. It's always a fun day, but uh, you know, if we can get those guys in there, they've got a really good character group too. You know, a really bunch of good kids and that uh, want to be here at Kentucky, and that's important. What's your next? What's your next like twenty four hours like as you go down to the wire? Well, I'll be tonight, you know, making sure you know everybody's got scholarships and hands and, and, and talking to them, and uh, you know, it's always uh, anxious to make sure nobody's calling. You know, last year we had uh, you know a player get called on the night before signing day, and he got offered by a big time program. You know, and uh, he's here now, and that's a that's a great thing. And so you never know. You know, guys are losing. Somebody loses somebody. It's like the draft, right? And, and that somebody falls off the board, and then they make a call. So you hope you have your hook in them by now, you know, because of the relationship that those things don't happen. And uh, so hopefully everything will work out right tomorrow. What is it about Bunchy that makes him good? I mean, it's so hard to sort of separate those linemen out, but he's gotten a lot of accolades. What do you see from him on film that, that's been so impressive this season? His athleticism, you know, for, for a big guy like that. He moves around well. He's able to change direction. He can run. You can see him when he pulls. He, He's got some speed and he's got power. He uses that big rear end as leverage. And, uh, you know, when he comes off the ball and does it right, uh, I think. But the biggest thing is his athleticism. What ben, separated you know, him from previous years? It seemed like his level of play went up a lot as a senior. Yeah, I think as a senior, you go up the maturation process and uh, him understand it's his last hurrah. And uh, as you get better, you know, you might get a chance to, to play on Sundays. And I think if you're doing it right, you know, you. you you do grow and you do get better. And I think he's done that. He's taken that role. Benny announced, obviously, that it's going to be the bowl game's going to be his last game. Any maybe worry that he's going to be too amped up knowing what he has, you know, the, after, the, after the game? I, I don't think so. I, I would hope not. You know, he, he does a really good job of uh, each game means something to him. He plays the game the way it's supposed to be played. And, uh, you know, he wants to go out and he wants to end his career with a win with his, with his teammates. A lot of people have wondered about the rushing record with Benny. Is that something that if you guys kind of do your normal business, kind of takes care of it? You, 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 you know me. Well, we got we to be able to run the ball first. And, uh, you know, you got to be balanced. And, and, but we got to do whatever we got to do to win. That's the bottom line. At the end of the day, we win that game, and you're host, uh, hoisting that trophy. And, and Benny's short. Uh, he'll be the happiest person around. You know, would you love to get him the record? Absolutely. I think it would be fantastic, but the bottom line is win the game. What do you appreciate about Benny? You know, as he comes to the end, what have you, you know, seen? How have you seen him grow the most? I think his toughness, and I think the, the way he plays the game the way it's supposed to be played. I think he respects the game, and uh, I just think the way he's grown too. You know, his maturity and uh, not letting some little things get to him, and he's been able to go past that. And, I'm really proud of him. He's, he's really come a long way since the first time he stepped on campus. Did you see that greatness in him? Speaking of the first time he stepped on campus, first time you saw him, did you see the greatness down the road? Yeah, you know what? After about two weeks of practice, you know, you, I always talk to our players about, uh, you know, make me play you. And you, you do that by each day coming out and going to work. And, you know, every time we kept watching film, we kept saying, man, we got to get this guy in. we got to get this guy in. And he kept doing it and kept doing it. And then we got to a scrimmage and he kept doing it there. And, so, you know, you just started seeing it through those 30 days of his first camp that this was a guy that was going to play. We already had him slated in, and we waited a couple of games as he kept learning it. And then, you know, after about the third game, you know, it was, it was uh, you know, we kind of took it over. And uh, for a guy that rushed for 1,000 yards as a true freshman, that's, that's pretty impressive in this league. Everybody good?